Hey everyone, welcome to Dad's Toys and Things. And if you're new to this channel, uh, take a look at all my videos. I have here a lot of things, a lot, a lot of toys for you to enjoy. And I also have them in a different playlist so you can select what you're interested in. As you can see here, you got different playlists about toys, about the places I went to get those toys, and a lot of other things that you can look at and see what you like. In this episode, let's talk about an essential item for camping. This is a single stove and it is called Soto Range. This is the SP340. As you can see, this thing comes with a carrying case. And let's look at the stove itself. This thing is well built. Look at that. Mostly stainless steel. And you got the brand name. This thing swivels. This is a heat shield for the butane tank. And of course, you got the spider legs here. That's what they call it. And there you go. Very stable. So first thing that I like about this thing, it is very stable. Because of those feet right there nice and this is where you put the butane and you got this is the regulator again look at that stainless steel and this I think is an igniter let me just double check if that's correct oh yes this is an igniter Now, before we proceed, safety first. I have a window open. Uh, it's winter in Canada. So you got to make sure that you have proper ventilation. And I have an exhaust open as well. So you might probably hear it from the background. So I'm sorry about that. But you got to make sure that everything is okay. Now, this is the butane. And I've handled this for so many years. So I'm pretty uh, comfortable working with them and I'm comfortable uh, how they work but if you can always do it on the outside this is not something that you would use for the inside of the house yeah I'm just gonna show you how this one goes into the stove and how you ignite it yeah for a few seconds so let's go there as you can see you have this lock right here and this thing let's see open this one and then the moment that you press this thing right here you're gonna hear the gas going in let's see if I can do it do this fast enough and there you go so there's no leak but to make to be sure don't ignite it right away you know just let it be for a few seconds and i'm not hearing any any leak from the gas so that's one of the things that you should look, look out for and again this is your heat shield now before you turn it on make sure everything's flat and here this is the regulator open it up let's see two three and then press this oh one more okay let's see there you go that's what you want you wanted that blue light now with this regulator it's gonna take a, a few turns before you can actually get the gas flowing and then all you need is one touch of this uh, igniter right here I like this particular igniter uh, yeah it's easy to use I'm gonna turn it off there you go Let me see how much how many turns I did before you can actually get the gas out and that's how it works right <clears throat> again you got the regulator and then you got the igniter again try that again one two three and then there you go and then turn that off and I don't smell any butane right now, so that's good. It's always good when you don't have that. Now, 
I have here a few of my cooking pots for my camping. So as you can see, it's uh, it's really good. You know, it's got this thing right here on top, so it doesn't slide off. So it's perfect. I got another one right here, and this one is also good. This one is a little bit too smooth, so it does slide a bit. So you got to be careful, especially this is a kettle, right? So you got to be careful when you're using that. Uh, I like this one. This is Cedar Summit. Let's see if I can grab that and put it on the bottom, and it's really good. And there you have it. This is the Soto. Again, it says Spark by Nature. This is the uh, a stove, stove that I have. Uh, this came from Japan. As you can see, regulator stove range. And everything in here is written in Japanese. So I really can't read anything. But what I do is I actually use my phone to translate everything in here into English. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is a really, really good one. Uh, I'm not going to touch this because I know that this is going to be hot. So I'm going to disconnect and pull this. That's it. Again, I don't smell any butane and I didn't hear any leak. So I will just put this back on and then store it uh, inside where it's cold. You don't store this thing outside where it's hot. It's, it's very dangerous. Okay, and there you go. And again, if you want to put it back in the pouch, you would just lift it slightly and then go, go like this, lift it slightly, go like this, and like that, and like that. I think I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go this way, and then, yeah, this one goes this way. Uh, yeah, there you go, and there you go. And then I can just put it back in the pouch. I'm not going to do that right now because I turn it on. This is a little bit hot. Yeah. Before I had this, uh, I had this other one. And I do like this one. I have a review of this, I think. Uh, if I find it, I'll, I'll put it in the description. And this one, from what they say, uh, you can use a propane tank in here. So this is dual fuel. Uh, propane and... Uh, butane so one thing one thing safety this is for butane only do not use propane on it even if you could find an adapter that will convert uh, to butane into propane it is not designed for propane so i'm not going to tell you about the technicalities of that but don't ever do it so this is the other one that i have and i really like this one too I like what I like about this one is this uh, see it's it's a little bit more secure than that it's still a little bit slippery but it's a little bit more secure than this one but this one is also good uh, the my main problem with this one that's why I tried looking for another one is this this igniter right here uh, the igniter is a hit and miss on this one but you can always light it up with a can always light it up manually but again it's a hit and miss the igniter on this one uh, the igniter on the Soto is really good this one right here it's it's really really good I don't know if you could see it but uh, there you go you see it right at the back there you go this one yeah it's uh it's a hit and miss most of the time it doesn't work sometimes it does but look oh, sometimes it works most of the time it doesn't work Okay, once again, uh, thank you for watching, and I can't wait to go camping. I can't wait to go out with this thing. Even if you're not camping, we, we normally would go out, um, you know, day trips. We have day trips, and then we'd like to heat up some food. Um, I could bring this, get some noodles, um, you know, get some coffee in the park, and this is a really, really good way to do it. I do have another one, which is bigger. Uh, I don't want to carry this. This is a this is a whole whole stove by itself, and and that's another that's another topic right there. But I like this very small. Let's see, is it 
still hot, still hot, still hot. Nope, it's no longer hot. I can just put it back in the uh, pouch. And I think I'm gonna buy a, 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 a hard case for this. So I could, uh, there is a hard case where you can buy for this. And then you could also store this uh, together with, with the stove. Anyway, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but you know, you get what you pay for. The build on this thing is just amazing. So, if you're into backpacking, it's a little bit for for backpacking, but uh, you know, not much of a difference, but it's compact. It's compact, so if you're backpacking, look, I can just pull this. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. When you're backpacking in comparison with this stove right here, as you can see, uh, not that big. So, I will see you on my next one. And of course, don't forget to click that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll know when a new video is out. Bye for now.